वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्लेन सरफेस एस एस हैविंग द डील विद ट्रूस एंड फिक्शनल फोर्स वी नाउ चेंज गेयर एंड गो ऑन द डिस्कस सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सरफेस मैथमेटिकली ऑफ कोर्स वी कीप कनेक्टिंग दस कंटेंट्स ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड सिचुएशन द फर्स्ट थिंग डैट वी डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ सरफेस एस This is motivated by the fact in general the force do not act at a single point but distributed all over the body for an example the gravitational force is pulling the object down and acts on the entire object similarly the plate at immersed in the water water for the example has is the pressure acting on it over the entire surface thus we would like to know which point does not the force effectively act for example in the case of object the gravitational field it it does not at it is the center of gravity where the force act effectively in the is lecture we develop important mathematical concept to deal such forces let us start let us start the first movement on area and centroid movement of area and centroid we first consider the area of a plane let us call the xy plane as shown in the figure here there is a body e which is putting in the xy plane and area in a xy plane and the first movement mx in the area about to x x axis is defined as follow take a small element of the area a uh, delta a and a multiple uh, multiply it by the y coordinate it is the perpendicular distance from the x axis and then the sum of the entire area is obviously goes over the integral of continuous limit it then m max is equals to summation of of i y i delta a i equal gives integration of y da similarly the first movement of m y the area is about to y axis is defined the multiple lying the elements of delta a to a y coordinate x coordinate and therefore the perpendicular distance from y axis is simulating in integrating the over the entire area thus my equals to summation of of xi delta a uh, ai which gives a x da as shown in the figures to the element of the its point is y coordinate coordinate at just we have discussing the first movement of the area and the relation of the problem of mechanics next we will now describe the second movement of pro movement and product of area plane in this lecture uh, we took the quantity of some mathematical entities that we have been defined and solve the problem